Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Roman Romings campaign in Imperator Rome. So, uh, I've been looking around just a smudge and uh, that's uh, quite a hefty amount of aggressive expansion and tyranny. So I think, right now, what I would like to do is the growth of Italia mission. So we can focus on some internal development, get our country strong, and making a bit more money than we currently are. And then we'll go back and do a bit more conquering after the growth of Italia. So we need to strengthen the local authority in Silvium, increase the food supply, and develop local mining and prospect for new deposits. Let's uh, have a try on that. And interestingly, this is mission that lets, means I have to... Uh, this scroll bar is pretty useless. Not gonna lie, that's uh, pretty weird. Alright, so, let's have a look. Silvium needs to be a city, and Italia needs a governor? It kind of is. It definitely has a governor. Uh, it's, it's called my consul. Um, but anyway, let's have a look for Silvium. Where is Silvium? Silvium... Ah, it's down here. Okay. So this needs to be a city. Which is unfortunate because I made Barduli a city because of the mission. Um, and it wants to create a city in Sylvium which has grain. That's a, it's a bit weird, not gonna lie, but um, hey oh, the, uh, the mission requires it. And uh, so we shall do it. Alright, and so we need a governor of uh, Italia. I mean, we already have one. It's called the Consul. Strengthen Silvium. Uh, Silvium needs a fort, a uh, city, and two court of law buildings. We can start with the fort now. Um, I'm not sure I really wanted a fort there, but uh, whatever. Uh, right, so fruits of Picenum. Picenum has all farm estates and all settlement producing food. So Picenum, where is Picenum? Uh, Picenum. Piscinum, Piscinum, Pisse? No. There it is, right. So everywhere here needs uh, food producing stuff. Um, you've already got one. You've got wood, wood, wood. No, there we go. You, you. Alright, just the two more. Just two more. Um, so we'll save up the money for that. Uh, let's unpause the game. Then the mines of Tuskia. Tuskia needs four mines. Uh, Tuskia is this one here. So we're looking at one, two, uh, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Where's the last one? Oh, I need to... I need to downgrade Tuskia itself. Oh, that's horrible. You need four mines. You can't build mines in cities. So this needs downgrading into a settlement. Might as well do it early. But that's, that's a real pain in the ass, really. Let's be fair. Alright, so let's start with the farming settlements. That really sucks that I had to get rid of that city. I wonder, did Etruria build this as a city, or is it was, was it a city from the start of the game? Because if it's a city from the start of the game, fuck that mission. <laughs> Alright, so, aggressive expansion's coming down. What is our current... Yeah, mercantile stance is what I want to be on. Food supply in Epirus is coming up. That's good. Um, we've got this here. It's a plains fort, which is not amazing, but... I'll have to deal with it. Talantia, who are you allied with? Just out of curiosity. Abria and Serdia. So that would get me all the way to Pella if I was to go that way. Hmm. Right, we can almost buy that second farming settlement. Uh, Marcus Cornelius Cornelius, our renowned consul, safeguarded our nation through some darkest times. Nonetheless, his recent refusal to return the eagerly granted dictatorial powers caused a great deal of concern amongst the Senate. Now it seems that his aspirations of power have reached a new level. With support of his faction, he has demanded that the Senate ratify a law proclaiming him dictator in perpetuity. Oh, filth. But the Republic... Eh, whatever. Right, so uh, we'll do that. I don't know, maybe I will become a, a kingdom. Because uh, I 
let's be, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I much prefer playing as a kingdom in, uh, in Imperative Realm. It is my favorite way to play. So if I wanted to proclaim a dictatorship, I would need the populist faction to have 70 support. And that would be enough. The moment the populists are at 40, I'd need to do an awful lot of murdering, get my tyranny super high, make my consul, my consul's already stupid, um, popular. Let's make him a little bit more popular. Um, how many people have I got imprisoned right now? Um, execute would be just tyranny. That would work. Banish is a little bit less tyranny. Force conversion is lots of tyranny. Holy shit. He converts to Canaanite. Is he not already Canaanite? No, he's Iberic. Should we do it? Should we try and go kingdom already? It seems fairly early. I, I could do it though. You're Punic Canaanite, you're Punic Canaanite, you're Punic Iberic. Let's force his conversion. And then we can't force your conversion for some reason. What about you? Can't force your conversion. Well then, uh, you can die, you can die, you can die. Makes my ruler stupid popular. No one else is imprisoned. Got an awful lot of tyranny. We need to be careful that we don't explode because of this. Uh, no one wants to rebel, so that's good. Um, all of my guys are loyal as well, which is fantastic. Alright, so did that affect this? You're at 40 popularity. I could spend 5 stability and 2 tyranny uh, to give them 10 seats in the Senate. That might work. Mm. Empowering the populists would uh, not really help. That gives me less corruption and less populist faction influence. This gives more populist influence. Build cost negative 15%. That seems worth it. Let's do that. And we'll also do that one time. There are now 50 seats. I'd need to get to 70. Hmm. Let's have a look, say, at you. Populists are at zero, because that'll never change, of course. Uh, let's check. You, you're also a party leader. Let's find somebody that isn't a party leader, like you. Uh, you're, you're doing the wrong thing here. We'll, we'll check that in a second, but Faustus. Corruption. Is that corruption of the leader? Popularity uh, means that he's going to change. Popularity. Popularity. Maybe it is corruption. Maybe we should start bribing people. See if that changes anything. Right, so... Um, you're a party leader, so it's pointless checking you. You're a party leader, pointless checking you. Uh, let's check officers. You. Corruption did not change anything. Maybe I'll bribe you. Mm, maybe it is my corruption. I'm not sure if it's my corruption or his corruption. Um, hmm. Can imprison you. Uh, no. They're at 50. It's going up by 2.53 a month. Uh, Scipio has been becoming increasingly restless of late. He believes that the state, his stature is deserving of a key role in government. With 8 civic, I think actually you might be right. I'm going to put you as my Vulnerius. Senator Cornelius. There you go. So yeah, give me, give me some fat stacks of cash, please. And then I'm going to replace you again. Who is it that's running out? Sempronii. My character is a Cornelii, so I can't just adopt into uh, fixing the problem. Yeah, if we manage to become a dictator, that'd be, that'd be fun. I've not actually done it as a 
anything before. The practically autocratic behaviour of Consul Marcus has the entire Senate in upheaval. Seditious talk is rife, but one voice stands out in a hushed conversation behind his back. Manius Fabius Gurgis, in an upstanding member of government with renowned Republican ideals, has declared that it's time to act. This amounts to treason, and we would be well within our right to clap in irons, but the rep very Republic itself is at stake. Um, you're the head of the Fabii, and um, I'm just going to clap you in irons, really, and then we'll, we'll stab a pig, uh, and then we need a new Cisalpine Gaul governor. We can put that as Caractus Sempronii, so now that fixes this problem as well. Um, and then uh, we have now someone else imprisoned, and um, we could just execute you. That's one tyranny, that's almost two tyranny. We could prescribe him five tyranny. Yeah, sure. You're now prescribed, and now that you've been prescribed, uh, you're executed. Bye-bye. So the head of that family is now dead. All right, Lucania. We should not be doing that. We should be trying to convert you to glorious Roman ideals. Nope, that's the wrong one. Cultural assimilation, there we go. Uh, you should also be cultural assimilation. You are culturally assimilating. Which is also increasing my tyranny. Alright, so uh, I also need some more farming settlements now that i got a bit more money. Uh, and actually, no, it's uh, mines that I need in Duskia. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do the trick. All right, let's have a look back at the government. Still only 50. Oh, we can uh, upgrade this again. Yeah, now you're at 60. They have at least 50 seats, so I can't do this again. It's going up by 2.63 a month. Can we get it to... See, it's actually going down. So No, this is... Support goes up, but the amount of seats they have go down. We need to get rid of religious support, I guess? Hmm. I mean, the influence is really high. Co-consul, do you want to, like, change? Oh, your, your, your desire for religious party conviction is too high. Uh, I need 40 stability as well, so let's, um, we'll stab a pig in a moment. I know it already costs, you know, quite a lot, but we're going to do it anyway. There we go. Um, so yeah, Silvium is becoming a city. All right, I think I think we've got pretty much everything that we can going on right now. And the Merchant of Silvium needs one marketplace and two libraries, or a training camp, a form, and a foundry. That's a lot of money. I'll take that money. Thank you very much. So what do we want here? Oratory, Provincial Investments, awesome. And nothing especially necessary right now. This is going down very slowly. 0.14 a month when I'm at 46. That's kind of crazy. Is there any aggressive expansion packed ones? If I take that, yeah, there's no, no grist expansion beneath it, unfortunately. My research ratio is also piss poor, so maybe a few libraries around the place would be handy. Beautiful, that's quite a lot. Quite a lot of libraries. Make 28 gold a month now, which is awesome. So I'm going to look 56 seats now for the populists. Uh, we've received several dignitaries from Elia, giving us some money. Lovely. Fair enough. Uh, if I look back at decisions, it's 
70 support. This is 70... Oh, yeah, this is seats. But I don't know how you get there. I really don't. There was a post that I saw on the forums about it that I am going to go and check out after this session, after this uh, um, episode is over, of a guy that did manage to do it in like 10 years. So I'm going to go and reread that and see exactly how he did it so maybe we can do something similar. But at the moment, I have fucking no clue. Not a clue. You're a cult uh, religiously converting, religiously converting. Religiously converting, that's good. Culture converting, that's fine. You should be culture converting because it's already all Hellenic. Over here, that should be religiously converting. 69% Hellenic is good, but it needs to be 100%. Uh, we need 12 there. Eh, it's coming eventually. Down to 54 populist faction support. Maybe after the populists become uh, in power. I mean, very charismatic leader of the populists helps. Um... Cornelia lose prestige, that's fine. I need you to be popular. You're only at 28 right now. How do I make you popular? Could uh, lead, make you lead an army and go to war. That works. That usually works. Uh, but I don't know yet. How long are these bloody farms taking? A uh, long ass time. Actually, that's because we're only on speed 4. Let's uh, pump it up at speed 5. See if we can make it go just that a little bit faster. Also, some of these um, vassals I do want to start integrating soon. So, you need to be more happy with me. So, I'll improve opinion with you. And not you, because I don't, I lack the points. You're 154, 128, 66 only. Are you a tributary? Yes, you are. Okay, you need to die then. Uh, let's. Break our tributary status with you. Aggressive expansion change would be a good idea. Coming of the city of Silvium, it now produces cloth. Uh, it's got five buildings possible, so... You need two court of law buildings, a marketplace, and a library. I guess the fort can be destroyed afterwards? Yeah, two libraries and a marketplace is what I would prefer. And the marketplace there. Is that all it needs? Yes, and then it'll go down into growth of Sylvium. It needs an aqueduct and a granary. So we'll build the aqueduct next. And then maybe we'll kill the fort and build a granary instead. That should work out just fine. Let's have a look at the populists. They're down to 51 support only. And now it's 50. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, it's supposed to be growing. And it's certainly growing faster than any of the others. But for some reason, that's not enough. So here, go back up to 60. And now it's already back down to 59. Oh man, I, I don't, I straight up just don't get it. Right, do you need more corruption? Your support is not changing. Um, let's see, who, who else is in the religious faction that has a bit of power? You are... I mean, that's, that's a lot of conviction for the others. Maybe I'll give you a bribe and free hands. Maybe it is your corruption that matters, not mine. I have I've straight up just have no clue. Yeah, there we go, some more populist faction influence. At the moment the religious and military factions are in power uh, for quite a while actually, until 53. Oh, right, because you're a fucking dictator for life, aren't you? Uh, how long are you going to live? 
a while. Granary fire, we'll, uh, we can pay for that, that's fine. Five popularity again for my ruler. Yeah, with him being a dictator for life. I mean, it's it's strange. If we have a look at decisions, I thought you need to be of the populist faction. But I guess not. In suit Corn, there's a local capital. Achaia, I need all of Achaia. Okay. Embellish the temple, I need five religious advances. advances. Three for the Campus Marius. There's not much I can actually do to uh, to make this process go a little faster. It's, it's just a case of we need to wait. But we can do Fruits of Pisenum. So until uh, 519, 10 years only, get 20% extra food. That kind of seems a bit weak. So what we could do now is Bread and Circuses, uh, which will give, again, for 10 years, Freeman and Happiness, or Granary Vitalia, which gives until the end of the game plus 800 food. Personally, I find that a bit more valuable. So, Trebula needs to become a city. Trebula. Doesn't look like the best place for a city, but we'll do it anyway. So as soon as we have the, the political influence, that's going to be that. I much prefer en until the end of the game um, benefits rather than this this ten year crap because then it, like what's the point really? Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna put a small cut in here. Uh, we're gonna continue trying to become a kingdom. Um, I'm gonna go and have a look up exactly how that guy that I'm remembering uh, did it, and we're gonna see if we can do the same. Uh, perhaps. Maybe a law would help? I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.